with 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor, who's been tracking this wicked weather all day long for us. So uh, as we close out this Friday night, how's it looking? It looks, Is it over almost? It looks a little bit better. A little. But it's not over just yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We still got a little bit more wind to get through. If there's any good news, the wind is losing that damaging criteria where it can lead to power outages, but it's not helping blowing snow back on the roads, keeping things icy and the wind chills, which now is shifting to the bigger story. There's one thing I want to point out to you. Here's a look at this area of low pressure, still intensifying, by the way, as it pulls away from us. So good news that it's losing its influence on our weather, but that is not the case around the GTA and the Toronto area. But let me take you out west. Winds will shift from the west southwest. When that happens, it's going to bring moisture off the lakes and it's going to reignite the lake effect snow machine. So we're getting a brief break in the snowfall activity, but we're expecting more snow showers to flare up overnight. That's why this is the main story, at least for the time being. Negative 23 in Ann Arbor, negative 25 in Detroit. Single digit numbers with the actual temp and the wind chills are sub zero. And that's going to remain the, to be the case because the winds are still gusting up to 44 miles an hour in Windsor, 39 in Detroit and Pontiac at 32, Lapeer 31, a little bit lighter over in Port Huron at 23. But with winds like that, that's why we have the wind chills. And as I was mentioning, the radar is quiet, at least for now. But unfortunately, that's not going to remain. So here's the temperature trend over the next 24 hours. With these single digit numbers, it's going to be tough to for the crews to get any of this snow and ice off the roadways because salt's just ineffective. And it's going to be, I guess you could say it'll work on Christmas Eve just very slowly. It's really going to take until Sunday into Monday before we could really do something with getting these roads clear. I will mention when you look at the wind chills, Frostbite can occur just within 15 minutes for tonight into tomorrow morning. So the cold air is really locked in place and this is really the peak of it. So five for the overnight low in Detroit and Lapeer, zero in Pontiac, sub zero in Ann Arbor and Adrian and Monroe. So it's going to be cold for tonight. Those snow showers I was talking about during the overnight hours, any one of these bands could easily drop another inch to three inches of snow. They could be intense just because the air mass is so dry and that could definitely drop a lot of snow in a short period of time. Let's get to the seven day forecast now. I want you to see your Christmas forecast. 20 degrees of blowing snow still around, but that high temp of 20, uh, that's some rare air, even for Michigan standards. That'll be the coldest in about 18 years. So it's been a while since we've been that cold, especially for the holiday, but there is some recovery in the forecast. Once we hit Wednesday, and it's going to take that long to warm up, temps get back to the 30s, which is where we belong. And it looks like we'll go beyond that for the 40s to return when we're talking rain and not snow into next Friday. Alrighty then.